What's going on everybody? Squall Dog here. These are videos that I make to help you figure out how to level up your stream on Twitch. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Helps me out a ton. Also, if you want to join any of my social media, all of my social media links are in the description down below, as well as my Discord community. So come on, follow me in, let's get it. Hey everyone, what I want to talk to y'all today about is how to understand your views on Twitch. If you are trying to get affiliate, this is super important for you. So listen up. First thing we're going to talk about today is understanding the lurks versus your active views. A lurk only counts if the person is actively engaged in your stream. The volume is up and they're actively engaging with you in chat. That means that they're speaking with you, they're talking and typing something in your chat every 10 to 15 minutes. Now, as far as engaging your chatters, this is really kind of a slippery slope because some people that lurk will never talk. I'm sure some of you have noticed if you look at your users in chat, you probably got several different names listed and they're not saying anything. The last thing you want to do is call out your lurkers. And the reason you don't want to call out your lurkers is because Believe it or not, they are actually helping you in your growth. Even though they're not helping with your views, they are helping with your growth because that is something that Twitch takes into account. You don't want to call them out, but if they do start talking, you want to ask them about uh, themselves. The most popular thing for people to talk about is themselves. So how do you do that? If they engage with you in chat, say, hey, how are you doing today? What kind of games do you like to play? What kind of work do you do? You know, if you don't mind telling me, you know, where do you live? Do you live in the States? Do you live in the UK? Ask them things that will make them engage with you. Number two thing that you need to understand is your active views versus your average views. And which one is more important? You have to understand that your average views are literally time against your active views. And what that means is the amount of time you stream versus the number of people that are actually actively watching while you're streaming. To understand how this affects your growth, you have to consider what your goals are with Twitch. If you're trying to be an affiliate, you need to be sure that you're taking this time into account because it's gonna have a huge impact on you when you're trying to become an affiliate. Now, let me say this before I go any further. Do not try to crack the code to try to become affiliate as quickly as possible on Twitch, okay? The reason I'm saying this is because you'll have a lot of people that will follow you that won't actually ever come and view your stream because they're trying to be supportive. Uh, whatever the reasons may be, uh, maybe they just don't enjoy the stream or maybe they just don't like the type of games you play. Um, they might have a streamer that goes at a time that conflicts with the time you're trying to stream. If you've got a bunch of people following you, but you know, you've only got a couple average views, that doesn't look good in your growth. Now, if all you're worried about getting is affiliate on Twitch, then you don't have anything to worry about. Uh, but if you want to become partner at some point, that could have a detrimental impact on you becoming partner because achieving the goals and the milestones for partnership does not guarantee you to become a partner. It only guarantees you can fill out the application to become a partner. Let me just say this. If you are trying to become an affiliate on Twitch, I can't stress this enough. Do not stream more than 20 to 24 hours on any given 30 day period. This will be detrimental to you getting affiliate. If you're trying to get affiliate quick, this will be detrimental to you. And the reason for that is, is because you're not one, you're not getting paid for it. You're literally making zero dollars to do that. So, if you're on every single night, Monday through Sunday, streaming two to three hours at a time, you're you're hurting yourself because the more hours that you have on that 30 day period, the more it's gonna shorten those average views. If you have a friend or a streamer that you make friends with that says, you know what? I think I'm gonna raid so-and-so. And they come and raid you, and let's just say they drop, you know, 15, 20, uh, views in your audience at that time if you've got you know 60 70 80 hours streamed over a 30-day period 
that's going to be detrimental to you hitting that average three viewer mark. Take advice from somebody who has already been there. Do not stream more than 20 to 24 hours over a 30 day period until you reach affiliate on Twitch. Third and final thing I'm going to talk about is your is your bot. So as I'm sure you've probably noticed as you've gone through your dashboard, you've seen that you can set up mod moderation settings and uh, Twitch has its own little mod bot that comes in there and a lot of people have like Nightbot. Nightbot's still a thing. But most OBS is actually allow for the usage of a custom bot account. Now why is this? So when you go set up your bot, your custom bot, it'll ask you who do you want to be the bot? Who do you want to designate as your bot? And it syncs to your account. Well, when you do this, it's going to have your name. So your name's going to be coming up in the stream doing bot modding. Twitch actually allows you to use one email for two separate accounts just for this. You can create a bot account. For instance, mine is Squalldog Bot. The reason this is so important is not just for branding, though, but because you are literally screwing yourself out of at least one view. And here's why. When you have your custom bot, your second account for your bot, nothing else, when it's logged on and you've got it in moderator view on a separate browser and you've got the volume up on it just enough, as long as you've got your timers turned on, it'll come in every 10 to 15 minutes on its own and it'll talk in your chat, which lets it count as a view. So if you've got two people that are watching you on a regular basis, that bot can count as your third person. Just keep some of these things in mind. If you're trying to get to affiliate status, um, you know, and you're trying to get to affiliate status quick, um, Having a custom bot not only looks cool, but it also is very, very helpful. So what do you think, guys? Was this video helpful for you? Is there anything you feel like I missed? Is there anything you feel like I could have covered that I didn't? Anything you feel like I could have gone in better detail over? Please drop it down in the comments below and let me know what you think. I greatly appreciate it. Also, don't forget to throw me a like. I appreciate you guys coming in to watch this video. All right, guys, I hope that video was useful. For you. I hope you got something out of it. Please feel free to give me any feedback in the comments below. Also, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Helps me out a ton. Also, too, I stream on Twitch right now every Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. If you want to know my schedule specifics, just please click the Discord link down below and you can check out my schedule there. So, uh, yeah, don't forget to hit it. Come on. All right, guys. Peace out.